Hi, I'm Esther, I'm 14 years old. I love to dance and bake and I am mixed race. My mum is Jamaican and my dad's English. So growing up, I just had lots of diverse culture in my life and I just loved growing up like that. Um, from, our, from when I was young, I grew up in a Christian household and I experienced God through worship and through just praying to Him. And so I always knew He was real, but the point where He became first in my life and the point when I realized that He was amazing and like number one and totally real in my life was when um, my, me and my family decided to move to Nicaragua. Nicaragua is a country in Central America, um, which if you might not know, it's like near Mexico, kind of that, near there. Um, so like the first, the first thing that just made me really realize that God was real was when we, our family didn't have that much money, um, but we, we felt that like God was calling us to go live in Nicaragua. And so we decided, we're just going to buy the tickets. We're just going to buy the tickets. We don't have the money, but we're just going to step out in faith, Lord, and you'll provide it. So we just, that morning we woke up, we just bought the tickets. And then that same day, like two hours later, we get a phone call from my grandma. My grandma says, hi, um, I just deposited this amount of money in your bank account to my dad. And it is exactly, not even lying, exactly the amount, like 64p or off or something like that. But it was literally exactly the same amount as the tickets. and. That is just that was just crazy to me because it wasn't like a round number or something. It was like a proper. It was it was exactly the amount, and I was like, whoa! How could this happen? This is not a coincidence. It can't be. Um, and then when we moved to Nicaragua, we didn't really have a house. We didn't have like we just stayed with my granddad, which lives there. Um, so we were staying in his house for a bit, but then we realised we need to move out. He was getting <laughs> um, so um, we looked around where he was living and um, we saw this house and it was really nice but the only one thing about it was that it wasn't furnished and it was in our price range and everything but it wasn't furnished it didn't have any furniture in it so that would mean that us like buying loads of furniture and everything so we were like oh this, this might not work there's this other house that was a hundred more a hundred more dollars on the rent and but it was furnished and we was like we were like oh it's, it, this is nicer but we didn't really have that money. So we were about to buy the unfurnished one. And then the person that had the furnished one literally called up, up and said, um, we've just um, lowered the price to 400, which is exactly the same as the one that was unfurnished. And we were like, whoa, did, we, didn't even, we didn't even have that amount of money and we we're about to buy one, which we really couldn't afford. But God really showed up there and he just, he just like put that on the man's mind just to put our house for that much money and the crazy thing about it was it was literally next door to my granddad's house there was like one little supermarket like little corner shop sort of thing in the middle but we were literally next door to each other and that was like so amazing for us because we couldn't really speak spanish and like all of them spoke english and we could just speak to them like um they were they were like our support bubble I, when I was going there, I didn't really know Spanish. I like did a bit of Duolingo at home and I thought, oh yeah, big, I can do this, I can do this. Then I went there and I literally like, one person asked me, do you want a drink? And I was like, in Spanish, and I was like, what? Excuse me? And she was like signing, she was like, drink, drink, drink. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I thought, I, I knew it all. I thought, Spanish, yeah, I've got this. But no, I didn't, I really didn't. Um, and the school that I went to, it was predominantly um, Spanish speaking. Every, most of the subjects were in Spanish, probably like maths and English were only in like English. <laughs> so everything else was in Spanish and all the people spoke Spanish and all their friendship groups. So to even make some friends, I would have to speak their language. But God really showed up there. He, he um, really helped me to learn Spanish in like such an easy way. It was just slowly and slowly, but it really helped me to build good relationships with people there and not just to be at school, not understanding anything going around. Um, and then the final, the final way that God really showed up in that time was when we were, we were like, we didn't have that much enough rent for that, um, for that month. And we was like, what are we going to do? We don't have enough money. What are we going to do? And then we knew these people from ages ago we met some them in the church and they were like we were in church and they were speaking behind us we were like excuse me what this is so rude and then we like talked to them and they were like oh no we were translating this lady speaks russian and i speak spanish and we were like what so they were like translating back and forth between them so we just became friends with them we spent like such good times with them and like Oh, they were just such nice people. But then the lady that spoke Spanish, she she um, moved to Costa Rica and we were like, 
oh, we're never going to see her again. But we just said, okay, um, nice to, it was, we had a nice time of them, but we're never going to see her again. So then the lady that was friends with her went to Costa Rica one day and she brought back this little purse from her. Um, and we were like, oh, this is cute. This is a nice little purse. That's cute. Like nice, nice little souvenir. Then we opened it and it literally had the exact amount of rent in it. And we were like, wait one second. We literally had no money. And this person that we thought we would never see again really impacted our life in that way. And they, they made up our rent. That's the reason we could stay there again. And God just really showed up in that, in that point in my life. And I just feel like God was so real in that point because I, I don't feel like that any of those things could be coincidence because we really stepped out of faith to go to Nicaragua. We felt God was calling us there and he made it possible for us to, um, to live there, to have all those experiences and to make so many friends. And I feel like it's the only reason um, that, we, that we could do that was because of God and us just taking that leap of faith. So that's why Jesus is first in my life because he is just so faithful. Um, God is currently teaching me just to be kind and loving to everyone, not just to look out for myself and just, it's really easy just to be caught up in your own little world, just to think I've got this to do, I've got this to do, I've got, and all the different things that swear us in life, but really just to step out and be kind to someone is such a joy and it can really just um, brighten up someone's day or their week or anything like that. So God has really taught me to be kind and loving in any way possible, even if it's just a smile, even if it's just, I don't know, something easy, like baking a cake for something, so someone, just anything like that. Like God is just teaching me just to be loving and kind because he was He was our servant. He was, um, he was washing our feet. And so we should really be servants to other people to show his love. Um, what I would say to a young person that is struggling to put God first in their life right now is just to step out in faith. Just if that's just asking him, are you real? Or give me a sign that you're real, Lord. Or um, just stepping out and just thinking, today I'm going to read the Bible, see what God has to say to me today. Like anything like that, God, just taking that leap of faith really encourages um God to just step into that situation because he sees that you are waiting expectantly for him and so he he wants to feel that fulfill that and God says to us just to um, believe in him and just to take just step, take a step of faith because he will always provide for us and whether it's just whether it's something small like um, just be just asking God if ask if asking God to give you a sign about a specific situation just to help break through in that situation or if it's something like moving to a different country to do a missions trip like it's it all of it is the same in God's eyes just that you are being faithful towards him and he just he just loves that he loves when his children delight in him and just take a step of faith to better their relationship with him